fans out there, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Coda Country Chats. I'm Lee, and you probably have heard me before, but if you haven't heard of this next artist before, you are going to be amazed with all of the wonderful things that she has going on. I'm going to say that she's self-proclaimed Miss Nash Vegas, and you're going to find out soon why. This is Callie Tucker. How are you today, Callie? Hi, Miss Lee. Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, my I'm goodness. Great. Well, Callie's on the show today to talk about several things with us. So the first thing we're going to talk about is her single that dropped back in June, which is Country Couture. I would love to know more about the song, the writing process. Tell me about how that song came to be. So it's a phrase that I had always coined. Like, you know, my life is so interchangeable and so multidimensional from going from like these, you know, ball gowns and these, you know, gorgeous venues and you know, the yeah. pageant, you know, girly girl lifestyle to, you know, t-shirt and jeans and working on the farm, playing with horses and, you know, um, building bonfires and driving trucks. So, you know, <laughs> I always say that there's a mix of that and it's called country couture. And, um, yes. and I just, I was, I just sat down one day, it was a beautiful, you know, summer day and, um, outside and started, just started to write all the things that made sense in my life that, that, that this, this whole idea kind of, you know, came from. So it, yeah, that it was, it was honestly a very simple song to write. It was very fun and, um, lighthearted, cheeky. And I just wanted it to make, make it like a, a, um, a happy summertime anthem and, uh, and send a really fun, good message with it. So. Exactly. That's what I've gathered from the song is it I, it resonates a lot with me because I feel like I also kind of find that balance in between, you know, very upscale at times, but also can, you know, love fishing on the creek and, you yeah. know, going hunting and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I really enjoyed hearing that song. I'm so glad. Yeah. Yes. We got to celebrate Go our many sides. That's right. That's right. Get, find you a girl who can do both. That's what I'm all about. Uh -huh. So tell me, um, with Country Couture, the single, you also have a project in the works that's going to come out later on this year. I'd love to hear a little bit more about the clothing line that you have planned. Yeah. Well, how can you talk about Country Couture and fashion without, you know, putting out a clothing line. I mean, that's insane. So I'm really exactly. excited about it. Um, there was a, there's, there's a lot of really cool opportunities with this song that make so much sense. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to partnering with some great designers to, you know, start putting out different pieces. And I, I have a couple of uh, pieces that I've already uh, created. I start, I've been wearing it my shows just to show people kind of what the, to expect with, with this clothing line, but it is, yeah. um, obviously it's a, it's a work in progress. And, um, I, I want it to feel very couture. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but I also want it to be, you know, affordable and right. I, I want it to, uh, obviously represent what is it, what, what does it mean just to me? What, what does it mean to me to be country yeah. couture? And there's just like, it's a really, I think it's going to be like the highest quality material, very, very classic looks that, um, I just think across the board, people are really going to love and it's yeah. all going to be made in the USA. That was always my commitment. So oh, yeah, yeah. Very important to me to do that. And so, sure. yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's, it's a slow roll, but obviously I want to put, I, put, I want to put the quality out there that it deserves. So, and that people yeah. deserve. Absolutely. And okay. Just so I can paint a better picture for, for the listeners out there. Tell me, do you, do you think as far as, um, materials, we were talking about that embellishments. Um, how do you feel that the line is going to, um, carry into different <laughs> venues? Like, do you see this, as stage wear that you would wear on stage you see this like people going out and having a great time night on night on, night on the town um how do you think the line will will work in in everyday wear yeah well just like any um i would say any clothing line there's different categories and i yeah. think there's going to be something for everybody for any any event or um uh, time of day. Like, I, I just feel like there's going to be a t-shirt and jeans type of vibe. There's going to be a very yeah. avant-garde couture, um, mm -hmm. um, category, you know, there's going to be accessories that you would not expect. Um, and, uh, 
And I, I, I yeah, I mean, it, it will even branch out to, you know, beauty products and hair care Ooh. products because yeah. I mean, all those things are just super important to me. And, um, but yeah, country couture is, is, is a, is, is a, I want it to be a brand and, um, uh, just, I want, I want the highest quality stuff, but I want people to, it, that's the whole point is there's going to be something for everybody, no, no matter what. Uh, even the guys, the guys are going to have a, have some good looking stuff. So Ooh, that sounds so fancy and awesome. And I can't wait to see all the products that yeah, you come be, up with and create. Yeah. Yes. It's fun. It's, it's really, really fun. That's always been a goal of mine. I always said, if I wasn't a singer, I'd be a fashion designer. 1000%. I just I love well, it. Of course. I mean, you just naturally have this, um, what's the word that I'm trying to look for? High class, just the way you carry yourself is very um, upscale. I don't know, avant garde, like you said before, too. And some of the, the pictures that I've seen online and, you know, in your bio and on your website, I just really get the vibe that you love, love the high lifestyle. That I is love awesome. Fashion. Yeah. I love fashion. I love, um, but I, I, I think, um, I think my, my, to my core, it's about materials. Like that is so important to me. Like yeah. comfort. comfort's really important to me. So when somebody's wearing one of my pieces, I want them to first, I mean, it's going to look great cause it's going to be a great cut, but I want the, I want them to feel that comfort with it, whether it's a ball, like it could be a ball gown and it'd be like, this is the most, I got pockets. Like I am <laughs> the greatest, you know how we are. It's like, Oh yeah. And, uh, and when you do that and, and people are really excited about what they're wearing and they get a compliment, they immediately want to say who, who, it, who it is. Oh my God, this is the Kelly Tucker country couture. You've got to check it yes. out. So that is, you know, that's how I am. I think about those things and I go, okay, you know, what's the best way to, to uh, reach a wide audience with, you know, this brand, this product. Um, and it's all word of mouth. It always is. I think. Yes. For sure. I I'm so excited to explore more with that. And, you know, whenever everything comes out, I'm excited I will to just send shop. You. I, will, I, will, I will send you samples and you can be my, my guinea pig test subject on how, what you like. Oh my gosh. That sounds so great. Yay. Yes. yes. <laughs> how tell cool. me. Oh my gosh. You're incredible. Listen, <laughs> let's go back. Let's talk a little bit more about music. Um, because I was super excited to talk about country couture, the brand, the song, the clothing line as a whole. Um, but I also really want to touch on your next upcoming single, which drops on September 6th, next Friday. Um, and it's called urban cowboy. Tell me what inspired you to write a song like that? Oh my gosh. I love this story. This is actually my favorite because I was at a pool party with my, my co-writer and my best friend, Trisha Batani. And we were at our friend Jen's house and we, you know, I was, I was just kind of chilling and I was vibing in my own space, just sitting there. And cause I, I knew I was like, I, I really want, I, I, I was looking for a change of sound and <laughs> what we were doing. And I was like, and I just been mulling this over for, for weeks. Like, what is it that I want to say? What is the story I want to tell? What do I feel? And, um, and I really do give a ton of credit to God because sometimes you come up with things and you go, that, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't me at all. Like I, I had, a, what, why, why? But Where then did I, this I, come I, from? Yeah. I did yeah, get exactly. credit because, you know, I'm a very creative person. That's part of who I am. So, but Absolutely. Um, yeah, I sat there and I just, I yelled it out, girl. I just was like, Ur, Urban Cowboy, you know, I just yelled <laughs> it out. And she's like, what? I was like, what? I was like, that's the next song, Urban Cowboy. And I already, already had this like idea of, okay, urban myth, urban legend, urban cowboy. So mm -hmm. I wanted the song to have urban inspiration as far as the production, like mm -hmm. 808s and a hip hop beat. So mm -hmm. there was that element. And, um, and then I wanted the, I'm a very, I live in a fairy tale land in my head. Like I believe every, anything is possible. I, I love love. I've, I've never given up on love and oh. Uh, well, you can't, you know, you can't. I know, yeah. And um, and so there was just like, oh my God, this, what a great twist um, of having a. I basically wanted to write my own fairy tale story. Oh. Um, about an urban cowboy and this mm -hmm. girl that's searching for her, her urban cowboy. So, um, the the first line of the song is, 
heard about the dust that settles in the fields and leaves tracks on the rims of wagon wheels. You know he's been around, but never has been found. They say he's just a fairy tale. And sorry, Ooh. that is my dishwasher going off. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful uh, chime. <laughs> yeah. The so, background music. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's, it, it, and, the, and what I, what I really, this is, this is really exciting. So what I love is that um, the music video plays out this incredible new new age modern day western fairy tale and mm. i think everyone is going to love it and what what i'm i'm excited about this one for is that i'm going to i'm, I'm in the process as we speak of, of creating the children's book for it because i remember as a kid i would <laughs> i would see things and like one i go okay we we have a song and then oh my god we have a visual of this fairy tale and then oh my god we have a book and I don't know, maybe it'll be a movie one day. I don't know. I think so. Because it's just that cute of a story. It's mm -hmm. a really, really beautiful story. And I love that all the fairy tales and all the Disney movies and all of the, you know, the, the love stories that we saw, we've seen growing up. I was, I was able to cultivate all of them into my own, like what, what I thought was a sweet, sweet story. Yeah. And so I'm, yeah, I'm very excited about the book. I'm excited for people to watch the music video because it is a really special, it's an adventure. I, I've been saying that it is a romantic comedy and I don't know if it's the first of its kind, but it is a romantic comedy. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And how cool of it and very creative. Like I've, in talking with you, I've just learned so many avenues that you have to just create different aspects of you know, country music, loving in fashion, in literature. And I think that's just an, an amazing feat, honestly. That's I mean, so why cool. not? That's my thing. It's like, why not? You know, I, yeah. I obviously I'd really, I'm really looking forward to, you know, in the next year or so putting out an album and, and doing that. But I've, I've been so highly focused on these singles because I feel like they're super special and they're, yeah, they're worth, you know, um, branching out on they're worth, you know, expanding on so Definitely. yeah and then uh yeah then next year i'll have a another one that i dropped that i'm very excited about but we could talk about it another day but um yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so a lot of a lot of good things this year a lot of good things. definitely yes and well I know that I introduced you earlier as Miss Nash Vegas because I feel like you spent a lot of your time in Nashville but most of your time recently has been spent performing in shows in Vegas. Yes. Tell me, yes. um, you headline a lot of shows there. I'd love to know um, all about the performance opportunities that you have coming up in Las Vegas, and then we'll kind of dive in from there. Let's hear yeah, some Yeah, no, I, um, so I was on The Voice <laughs> season six, and a oh. uh, great opportunity. I made it to battle rounds, and I was eliminated, which was the best thing that could happen to me. So, uh, <laughs> no, no, honestly, like, no regrets there. It was wonderful. Um, and, uh, you know, I grew up in Nashville and so mm -hmm. I, you know, I've gone back to Nashville after the show and I just felt very stagnant. Like, oh, what am I doing? Like, I'm not really like <clears throat> making any headway here. I wasn't writing mm -hmm. the way I wanted to write. So I, um, my, my friend suggested I move to Vegas and I, I just packed up my stuff and did it. And I slept in a, I found a 400 square foot apartment, sight oh, wow. unseen. And I was like, let's start here. Let's mm -hmm. start here. And a um, uh, blow up mattress worked for about a month. And then I slept on the floor and on my clothes, pile of clothes. And I hustled <laughs> like crazy. And, mm -hmm. um, and now I've been here 10 years. I own a beautiful home and I'm just, I love it. I love being here. And, and yes, I've, I've, I've gotten so many incredible opportunities. I, I perform six nights a week. Wow. And, um, it, it's, it's really a magical place if you want it to be. It doesn't have to be this crazy sin city that people you know, portray it as it's a, it's awesome to live here. I really love it, but it's exciting to be able to go back and forth to Nashville's even still for, you know, interviews and meetings and, and other opportunities, um, in music and of course seeing my family. So, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I, I, I love, like it's, it's country couture, baby. I like, and I'm not <laughs> Vegas. Like, so I am the boat. I am both, you know, yes. there, that's why I like that. We thought that was funny. <laughs> yes, I know. I absolutely love that. I love that so much. And touching a little bit on family, um, that actually just brought up two points for me. So hopefully I'll remember the second. Yeah. Let's talk about family first. Um, for my listeners out there, I would love for you to explain your country music lineage and just your, sure. your music heritage and, and 
all of your influences growing up and what it was like to live in Nashville. Um, I'd love to know more. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm very proud of where I come from. I, I come from pretty, um, pretty badass women. I'm very, very grateful. Yeah, and for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, my aunt is Tanya Tucker and um, my mom is La Costa Tucker. Uh, my mom was a country music singer. Um, really, you know, back in the 60s, 70s and 80s, she was with Capitol Records and had five albums out with with them and then of course my my aunt is just legendary and mm -hmm. um yeah i mean what a what a what's what great footsteps to follow like here's the thing is like i grew up as a it was a i was very young like three to six three to seven you know it was a very impression i was very impressionable at that age like i remember a lot but i, I you know i remember being on the road with them and I would be on the tour bus and we'd go, I'd be backstage at a show. They'd invite us out to go wave at the crowd at the end of the show. They'd invite us to sing. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was, um, I was, I was, I was hooked as a young girl. And I knew, I always knew it's what I wanted to do. It's probably why I was so bad in school. I was like, I don't care about this. <laughs> I don't I'm need this. <laughs> yes. It yes. It doesn't matter about diagrams and stuff. But yeah, it, so it's, it was, uh, you know, like, oh, I was bad in school. But um, yeah, I always knew I wanted to perform. Everybody always knew that that that's what I was going to do. And and um, and uh, if anybody knows me, if I say I'm going to do something, it's it's happening. It's so, going to go. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, but what? But what an interesting road. Um, so yeah, we. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona. My mom moved us up to Nashville back. Well, when I when I was three, um, and uh, uh, we never we never looked back. I mean, I grew up there. I grew up in Brentwood and. I uh, went to Brentwood High School, and uh, I, I had, a, you know, a, a lovely childhood. My my mom was a single mom, raising two kids. So looking back, I go, oh my god, I didn't realize that was so tough. But but yeah, I mean, um, uh, the Tucker gals are um, are are something else. We're we're we're, we're tough as leather. So um, that's right. But I am happy to follow in their footsteps and they've been very supportive in everything I'm doing. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, I, it, I've really been, I've really done it on my own, you know, mm -hmm. and that, mm -hmm. that's, you know, it's great to have the support, but it's also great to have that, um, sense of, of self accomplishment that I could, right. you know, I have all these, I, you know, my aunt's very famous and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that's, that's amazing. But, you know, the fact that I'm doing it just, you know, on my own, it, it feels really, really good. I, I find, um, I find that some people might think that I'm writing coattails and things like that. I'm like, no, she's there. She's supportive. It's just, I got to figure out my own path on this, you know? That's right. So, That's right. but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that you say that though, because I'm sure there are naysayers out there that are just like, well, you know, she's, you know, a part of this family and, and, and that's how she's getting by. But it seems like you are set, like you said before, you hustle, you hustle hard to get the shows that you do and, and to create what you have. And, and yeah. I really respect that. And I'm sure your fans do too. I'm sure they understand that you work your butt off, you know, um, I, I got to <laughs> here and, uh, and see one show, just, just come yeah. see one show. And you'll know, like, this is not, I got, you know, I got to, gotten to the point right now, the level that I'm at, but just by working really, really hard and being dedicated mm -hmm. and being good at what I do. And, and, um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, I'm running a business here and, and that's, that's what it is at the end of the day, you know, like the, it's, it's tough, but I love it. I mean, I wouldn't want any to do anything else. So yeah. 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 <sighs> that's incredible to hear though. I, I'm sure there are folks out there listening to this episode right now probably who haven't heard of you before, but now after hearing just your entire story and hearing everything that you have going on and everything that you've created on your own, it's, it's pretty, pretty impressive. So all the listeners out there, if you're not following Callie Tucker, you should be, um, tell me, hey, we hey, talked I'll, a I'm little add to that yeah, go for it. right now and you hear my story. Don't give up. Don't yes. stop to be the, be the, um, be the most delusional, most resilient person because you believe in whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah. 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 You, you, you will find what you're looking for in this. Um. <laughs> I love that you put delusional and resilient in the same statement, because I feel like it, they take, it takes both. Sometimes it takes a little bit of you just being a dreamer and being a, a believer to yeah. just kind of like have that push, you know, oh, and yeah. you don't, if you don't hear the shit, no offense, like, excuse my French, <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> nobody else will, you know, you have to believe it yourself. So 
Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, well, and that, and that too is what, you know, country couture's. I, I, you know, slipped some things in there too, uh, about just like self-worth, like, listen, like at the end of the day, wh whatever is important to you, go after it, whether it's uh, a designer handbag. Okay, cool. Whatever. If it's, if it's, um, um, a pair of shoes at, you know, at target, like whatever it is you want, it, it, if you want a healthy relationship, don't set like the bottom line is just don't settle. Like if you, if you have a goal in mind and it's, it's, you know, whatever it is, like, don't know your self-worth and know that yeah. you're worth 10 times even more than that. And, and don't just don't settle. So yeah, it, it, it was like a response. It, it was, it was, it's a response song to a lot of these other songs out there that are like, Oh, my girl doesn't care that I drive a beat up pickup truck and I got holes in my jeans and I, I ain't got a dime to my name, but she loves me. I'm like, no, nah, not really. <laughs> nah, nah. Mm -hmm. That ain't gonna fly. So <laughs> get it together. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, love yourself enough to promote yourself. And, and yes, that. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I love that. <laughs> This has I'm been crazy. such what an awesome chat today. Listen, I, <laughs> my husband makes fun of me all the time. He's just like, you, you're too high class. You're too bougie for me. And I'm like, no, I'm not too bougie for me. That's the yeah. problem. I have yeah. my own level. <laughs> when I reach let's, it, let's step it up. Let's step it up. <laughs> I'm teaching him a little bit at a time. You know, it's hard, but <laughs> yeah. video. It'll, it'll help him. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'll just play him country couture. Okay. Listen, Callie, this has been an amazing conversation. I've loved hearing all about the things that you have going on. And I I hope that I haven't left out anything. I feel like we've really covered a ton of stuff in such a short amount of time. Um, no, I will say, if anybody, yeah, um, no, if anybody is, is because um, currently most of my shows are in Vegas. So if you guys are coming to Vegas um, and planning a trip, go to CallieTucker.com, C A L I. Tucker and click dates and come see me. Come. I'd love to meet you guys. So yeah, it's really easy to connect with me. That's awesome. I was just about to say, go follow her on social media, find her at CallieTucker.com. See, you took the words right out of my I'm mouth. Sorry, that's yeah, perfect. No, no that's, that's perfect. perfect. All the time. And I was just going to ask you, is there anything else that you'd like to promote or anyone that you'd like to give a shout out to before we end the episode today? Man, um, <laughs> I'd like to give, I, I mean, I'm just a huge thank you to you and, uh, you know, we're, you. Uh, we, we, you know, we independent artists right now are reliant on great, uh, support from journalists and people interviewing us and spreading the word. And it means a lot. And, um, yeah, everybody, uh, go support your local, um, independent artists that are, uh, that are, you know, doing the grind, doing the hustle. And, um, I really look forward to you guys checking out country couture. And then, uh, right now urban cowboy is available for, um, pre-save and love to get some feedback. If you guys like that, let me know. Um, and then hang tight for the music video, which should be released in a few weeks after, um, next Friday. So, uh, yeah, just hit me up, say hi, and we'll be best friends. <laughs> That's right. Well, and I, feel like I'm already a best friend of yours now 100%. just from hearing all the things. Absolutely. Country we've music besties. All day. I, know, we've been... <laughs> I yeah. know it's so true. Oh my goodness. Listeners out there, make sure that you're following along with Callie Tucker. She has some amazing things going on. If you haven't heard the song already, go stream Country Couture and then make sure you pre-save Urban Cowboy that comes out on September 6th. We cannot wait to hear that song, Callie. We, I, I'm already just so excited. I can already I'm tell so you. Excited. <laughs> All right, you heard it here with Lee and Coda Country, and I hope you'll have a good day.